Okay, so have you ever thought about having like a digital twin making videos for you mm -hmm. in different languages even? Yeah. Well, that's what Hagen says they can do, and we're going to deep dive into it today. It's pretty futuristic. It does, right? Yeah. We've got this YouTube tutorial we're looking at, and they're saying it only takes 10 minutes to get started. 10 minutes, huh? Yeah. So we're going to unpack like what it is and how it works, and most importantly, yeah. whether it's something you would actually use. Right, because everyone's talking about AI these days. Right, and, and there's then, so much hype. Yeah, so we need to cut through that. Exactly. See what it's really all about. So before we dive into the specifics, yeah. let's just define what an AI avatar is, because yeah. maybe not everyone knows. Sure. Um, so it's basically a digital version of yourself. Right, like a digital twin that can be in videos. Exactly. That's so it, cool. Yeah. So this tutorial walks us through how to actually create your AI avatar. Oh, And it yeah. seems really simple. You can like choose a still image or an animated one. Oh, so you could use a video you've already recorded. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Interesting. And I was really impressed by the instructions they give you. Okay, like what kind of instructions? Like for recording the best video, like pausing between sentences. Oh, right, to make it easier for the AI to process. Yeah, things like that. Like even keeping your hand gestures oh, interesting. in a certain frame. Okay. So it seems like they really want you to get a good result. They've put a lot of thought into the user experience then. Yeah, for sure. Making it as easy as possible. Yeah. And then there's this one step that I found super interesting. Oh, what's that? It's called the consent recording process. Hmm. Consent recording. That's new. Yeah. So you have to read a specific script on camera. Oh, wow. And give them like a passcode at the end. Interesting. It's kind of like, I don't know. Like an audition. Yeah. For your digital self, it's kind of strange, but... It is a bit strange. But it's also cool because it means they're taking consent seriously. Yeah, that's super important with AI. Exactly. They're being transparent about how they're using your video. Yeah, and data privacy is a big deal these days. Huge. So once you've got your avatar made, yeah. making your first video is shockingly simple. Okay, I'm intrigued. How does it work? So you just type your script. Okay. And then you can customize the voice, like the speed and the language. Oh, that's cool. And choose if you want like landscape or portrait format. So it's pretty straightforward then. Super straightforward. That's amazing. It seems like it could really speed up video creation. Totally. And they have some pretty impressive features. Okay. Like what? You can add captions. You can customize the video player. Oh, nice. With your branding. And you share it all with just one link. Wow. That's really convenient. Super convenient. So is it like a paid service? They do have a free plan, but it's limited to 720p. Ah, uh, I see. So to get the higher resolution. Yeah, you'd have to pay. Makes sense. But the free plan's pretty good to just test it out. Yeah, get a feel for it. But there's this one feature that totally blew me away. Oh, tell me. It can translate your script and your voiceover. Wait, really? Into 40 different languages. That's insane. I know. Think about what people could do with that. Right. You could reach a global audience. Yeah, easily. So crazy. And it makes you wonder, like, how good are these translations? Yeah, right. Like, are they accurate? We'll have to see what the tutorial says about that. Yeah, definitely. But for now, let's talk about their pricing plans. Okay. So they've got four free creator team and enterprise. Okay. Standard kind of tiers. Yeah. And the free plan's pretty generous. You can make three videos a month up to three minutes long. That's pretty good for a free plan. Right. So yeah. it's perfect to just play around with it. Yeah, and see if you like it. Exactly. Smart move on their part. Definitely. To get people hooked. Click the link in the description below to go to the HeyGen website to create your own free avatar. Then you've got the creator and team plans, which offer more features. Okay, so what's the difference between those two? Um, creator lets you make videos up to five minutes long. And team bumps that up to 30 minutes. Got it. So it depends on how much content you're creating. Exactly. So who's the enterprise plan for them? That one's for the big players. Okay. So like companies that do a ton of video. Yeah. It offers unlimited video length and 4K export. Wow. So the top of the line option. Yeah. But honestly, what really caught my eye in the team plan oh. is the brand kit feature. Hmm. Brand kit. What's that? So you can upload your logo colors, images, even videos. Oh, that's handy. And then it's super easy to keep all your content. On brand. Exactly. It seems like it would save so much time. Yeah, for sure. Especially and, if you're working with a team. Yeah. No more back and forth about getting the branding right. Definitely. It's all right there. So pretty smart feature. Yeah. I can see why that would be appealing. Right. Definitely. Click the link in the description below to see the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create an avatar with HeyGen. Okay, so we've covered the basics. Yeah, kind of a quick overview of HeyGen. 
And it sounds pretty impressive. Right. Like, the possibilities are pretty mind-blowing. Definitely. I'm excited to see how this technology develops. Me too. It feels like we're just scratching the surface. Absolutely. And I can't wait to dive into more of the details of this tutorial. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Okay. Okay, so we've gotten a taste of what Heijin can do. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. But I'm curious about, like, the bigger picture. Okay, yeah. Like, what could this mean for, like, regular people? Hmm, that's a great question. Like you and me. Right, like how could we actually use this? Exactly. So what are some of the most exciting possibilities you see? Oh, man. There are so many. Yeah. Like, okay, imagine teachers yeah. using these AI avatars to create, like, personalized lessons for students. Oh, that's cool. Right. And in different languages, too. That would be amazing for, like, accessibility. Totally. It could really change education. And what about businesses? Oh, yeah. Huge potential there. Yeah. Like, think about marketing campaigns. Yeah. You could target different regions okay. with videos in their own languages. That's really smart. Right. Like, way more effective than just subtitles. Definitely. And it's not just, like, professional stuff either. Oh, yeah. Like, think about sending personalized greetings to friends and family. Yeah. Instead of, like, a boring old tech. Yeah. Like a video message from your AI twin. That's so cool. Right. It can make things so much more personal and even like preserving memories. Oh, yeah. Like imagine having a digital version of a loved one. Wow. That could interact with future generations. That's getting pretty deep. It is, right. Yeah. The possibilities are kind of mind blowing. Yeah, for sure. And we haven't even touched on entertainment. Oh, right. Like gaming. Yeah. AI avatars could revolutionize gaming. Okay, but let's bring it back down to earth for a second. Sure. For someone who's like, okay, this is all cool, but how does it actually work? Right, good point. What's the tech behind it? Okay, so basically, Heijin uses AI and machine learning okay. to analyze your video when you upload it. So it's looking at your face, your expressions? Exactly, and even your voice. So it's not just like creating a static image. No, it's capturing your unique personality. Oh, that's cool. Right, and then you combine that with text scripts and voiceovers. And you've got like a super realistic video. Exactly. That's really impressive. It is. And you can even customize the voiceover. Oh, yeah. The tutorial mentions speed and language. Right. But there's more. Oh. You can also adjust the tone. Okay. And choose different voice styles. Wow. So like you could make it sound more upbeat. Yeah. Or more serious, even use a different accent. That's crazy. It's pretty cool. But for someone who's like a little hesitant about AI. Yeah, I get it. What would you say to them? Well, I think it's important to remember that AI is just a tool. Okay. It's how we use it that matters. Right. Like it's not about replacing us. Exactly. It's about augmenting what we can do. Expanding our possibilities. Yeah, exactly. So instead of being afraid of it. We should explore it. But also be mindful of the risks. Absolutely. It's all about balance. And I think that brings us to something important. Okay. What? We've been focusing on the positive side of Hagen. Right. All the cool stuff. But it's important to remember there might be other viewpoints like potential downsides yeah and concerns people might have like what kind of concerns well for example some people might worry about misuse okay yeah like deep pics and stuff exactly or spreading misinformation right those are valid concerns and it just highlights the importance of being critical yeah and having open discussions about the ethics of ai totally we can't just ignore those issues so as we wrap up this part of our deep dive yeah what are some key takeaways for our listeners? Okay, so first, I think it's clear that Hagen is powerful and user-friendly. Yeah, definitely. It has the potential to change how we create videos. For sure. And second, the possibilities for AI avatars are huge. Yeah, like we've only scratched the surface. Exactly. And they're going to keep expanding. So exciting times ahead. Definitely. Yeah, it really feels like we're on the edge of something massive. It does, doesn't it? Like, who knows what's coming next? Yeah, the future is unfolding right in front of us. So for someone who's, like, ready to jump in and try this, yeah. what advice would you give them? Well, honestly, I'd just say dive in and play around with it. Yeah. The best way to learn is by doing. Right, just get your hands dirty. Exactly, and Hagen's free plan is perfect for that. You don't have to commit right away. Exactly, you can get a feel for it first. And while you're experimenting, yeah. think about how you could use it. Right, like what could you do with it? Yeah, maybe make a video for your business. Or... Oh yeah, or a fun message for a friend. Or even just try out different voices and languages. Exactly, the possibilities are endless. So as we wrap up our deep dive, yeah. what's like one final thought you'd leave our listener with hmm that's a good one something to ponder i think i'd say approach this technology with a sense of wonder 
Okay. Like, don't be afraid to experiment. Yeah. Push the boundaries. Use your imagination. Be creep. Exactly. Because the future is being shaped right now. And we can all be a part of it. Yeah, we don't have to just sit back and watch. That's such a powerful thought. It is, isn't it? It's not just about the tech itself. Right. It's about what we do with it. Exactly. It's about human creativity. So to our listener out there. Yeah. We hope this Hey Jen deep dive has inspired you. Yeah, get out there and explore. Who knows? Maybe you'll create the next viral video. With your own AI twin. That would be amazing. Thanks for joining us on this journey. It's been a pleasure. If you like this content, consider subscribing to the Future Jam podcast to hear more episodes and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single episode.